That's Steve Mackay from Engineering Institute of Technology. I just want to spend a few 120 seconds talking about natural frequency. And um, one of the issues of natural frequency are, are when you have a platoon of soldiers crossing a bridge, they have to break step. In other words, you don't want them marching across the bridge in perfect synchronization for the possible problem that they may be having the force hitting the bridge, of their boots presumably, hitting the bridge at the same time as the natural frequency of the bridge, and of course you get resonance, and of course the bridge destroys itself. Well, that's the theory anyway. But it could happen, and there was an issue um, a few years ago, turn of the century, with the, you may recall, the London Millennium Bridge, when there was definitely a problem with people walking across the bridge and getting into the natural rhythm of the bridge, and of course that was a poten potential problem. So that uh, bridge had to be shut down, stopped, and some remedial work done to prevent the pedestrians possibly destroying the bridge. So natural frequency is a real part of our lives, apart from those that uh, try and use um, champagne glasses where you run your fingers along the edge with some liquid in and you get some very high frequency tones. Again, natural frequency involved there. There's one other area where we do see natural frequency, well, people think it's about natural frequency of bridge, and that is the Galloping Gertie Bridge from the Tacoma Nar Narrows Suspension Bridge. You may recall that. It's a great little YouTube clip. And you see this guy going across on his, in his car. The bridge starts swinging wildly, and of course the car, the dog, and the bridge are gone. Fortunately, the driver managed to get out in time, and the bridge collapsed. Um, and we would think that would be natural frequency, but in fact it was another condition. I always use the term, the devil's in the detail. It was due to aeroelastic flutter, which is due to air gusts arriving at the bridge at the right time, and of course causing the bridge to torsionally wriggle, and you had torsional flutter, and of course that's what destroyed the bridge, the actual wind, not natural frequency. So with engineering, it's always the devil in the detail. Thank you very much. That's Steve Mackay from Engineering Institute of Technology.